Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. It's no secret, nor is it anything new, that the media and many politicians are extremely biased. However, it's a sad day in America when people who are patriotic, who, who love the Constitution, are considered dangerous, violent, and hateful. When you also have people who are protesting, who are throwing bricks at windows, destroying property, looting, beating people up who disagree with them, are considered peaceful protesters. Now, I have no problem with somebody peacefully protesting. That is very American to do that. But as soon as you create violence, it's no longer peaceful. As soon as you kick down a gate and, and storm into area that is designated private property, it's no longer peaceful. As soon as you throw a brick or beat somebody up, it's no longer peaceful. And, and that is what is happening? You get the, you have these politicians who are saying, well, these are peaceful protesters. No, they're not. They're violent protesters, and they should be arrested. In the midst of defunding the police, they should be arrested. And I think things have gotten so far backward that many people are, are having trouble seeing the truth. And it's actually a sad day in America. However, in St. Louis, just a couple days ago, hundreds of people decided to kick down a gate in a very high-end neighborhood, and they wanted to go protest the mayor of St. Louis, Lida Krusen, I believe her name is, and, and she lives in that neighborhood, and they, they kicked down this wrought iron gate that was a, a very expensive gate, and they just stormed that area. Now, there was this couple there who had this beautiful house in the area. I mean, it was so big, it made the White House look like a shed. And they felt intimidated. They felt intimidated because hundreds of people entered their area shouting insults, shouting threats. They already kicked down the gate, which means they're not peaceful. And they decided to protect themselves and their property with firearms. Now, they, they went out there and started shouting back, get out of here, get out of here. Imagine how fearful you would be if one day you were just standing out front and hundreds and hundreds of people threatened you and, and you know, threw insults at you. They didn't even know these people, and yet this was what was happening because they lived in this neighborhood. I don't care if you live in a mansion, if you live in a one-bedroom apartment, your home is yours it was sacrificed for it was a lot of commitment went into that a lot of hard work went into that and nobody has the right to destroy it so these people had their firearms the gentleman had a rifle the female had a handgun and they were out there and they were telling them get out of here get, get back back off get off my lawn and so forth and eventually that strategy worked because it was the gun. Had they not had those firearms, they were so outnumbered, it wasn't even close. It could have turned in very bad and even uglier than it was to begin with. So here we have a case where the firearm was an equalizer and they actually created that group to leave their area. We have the county prosecutor saying that they, she had a problem with them intimidating peaceful protesters with the use of firearms. Once again, we have gone so far backward where you negate the fact that they kicked down the gate. You negate the fact that they were insulting and launching threats at these people. You negate the fact that they were trespassing in a major way. And yet she's saying they were using their guns as intimidation. I think intimidation went the other way. And it's a pretty, pretty poor representation of government when they twist everything up and they make the, the violent people into heroes and they make patriotic people into criminals and, and hateful and, and, and horrible people. I think these people did the right thing. They, they protected themselves and their property. They said they were fearful for their lives, which is the number one reason to use a firearm to begin with. Now, the lady, was she was pointing the gun, pointing it at the people. You know, looking back, it would have been better if she didn't do that. But, you know, the, the fear factor kicks in, and it's a very intimidating thing. I could only imagine if hundreds of people entered your property 
threatening and and you know willing to destroy what you have worked so hard to achieve i will restate what has been stated so many times when the government tells you you don't need a gun you need a gun if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe